What are you doing? I'm picking carrot muffins. I hope you're not shredding your fingers on my account. I don't even like them. Oh, that's okay. Just doing this as therapy. As long as I keep busy, I don't get hit by these waves of depression. Uh oh! Ow! 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 Lily! Ow. Lily! If you really love this guy who dumped you, instead of moping around making carrot blood muffins, why don't you concentrate on getting him back? You know, show him you're independent. How? Move out of my house. Then what? I don't care. Just get out of this house. Oh, not again. You know, your sister's business calls are driving me nuts. Are you going to take a message this time? The spirit moves me. <laughs> Hello? No? No? No, I can't take a message because uh, my mummy's not home and I'm not allowed to take messages until I'm seven. <laughs> I'm not going to answer it, neither are you. You're just going to let it ring? Isn't it great? <laughs> no, 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 no. It's Monty. Hello. Stevie, my son. So how's it going? How's college? Don't give me that. I know you. This is your father, the man who watched your mother change your diapers. <laughs> so, uh, are you getting any... Stevie, you didn't let me finish. I was going to say, are you getting anything out of higher education? <laughs> uh, but what you just told me shocks and impresses me. We must have seen every empty office in Manhattan. Hey, I'm a realtor. I do this every day. Oh. Oh. You know, that last place we saw was pretty nice. Well, yes, but it was so expensive. Well, you have to have a little confidence in yourself. When your business gets bigger, you don't want to have to keep moving. Why are you talking to me like this? It's a little sales technique. This way you think it's coming from your own brain. <laughs> You're my sister. Why are you doing this to me? Necessity. Oh. Hi, honey. Find an office? No. Oh. Mm. Get your sisters out of here. We really have to be alone. This is your brain talking. Where are my phone messages? Uh, there aren't any. No phone messages? Nope. Well, I don't believe... Hi, sweetheart. There's too many important things happening around here. Okay, maybe it was because I was clowning around a little bit and gave people the wrong idea. <laughs> what idea? That I was five years old and I couldn't write. <laughs> and he did it without changing his voice one bit. It was dear and stupid. Thank you. Hold it. This isn't lighthearted. This is my business. Why won't you take a message for me when someone calls? Because the phone doesn't stop ringing. It's no, like a... no. This is a nasty thing. You know that I am struggling to start a new business. You know that Edna is driving me nuts because she's not doing her job. You know that I am doing everything so that you don't have to live with all the files and the phone calls. This is big, Howie. It is not. It is big. <laughs> it's not. It would be big if I disagree with you, but I agree with you. I was totally out of line. And not only do I want to apologize, but I'm arrogant enough to think that I'll be pretty good at it. <laughs> so here goes. Hey, babe. I'll try to make it up to you. You know, I really love you a lot. If this looks like I don't appreciate what you're going through, I, I'm sorry. I mean, really. Okay. He's a tough guy to stay mad at. Thank you. <laughs> Come on, you gotta look at these brochures. You gotta move fast. What do you think, Manhattan's filled with office buildings? Yes, and most of them are deserted. People are giving away office space. Audie, I really appreciate what you're doing, but you can't hustle me like this. It's the job. What, forcing people to take anything, whether they like it or not? Yes, that's the job. <laughs> Getting them to overreach when they're financially insecure? You wanna see the handbook? <laughs> 
come on. Here is a thousand feet of prime office space, newly renovated for only ten dollars a square foot. Huh? Oh, this place is terrible. Hey, who asked you? <laughs> hey, listen. If I waited for somebody to ask me something, I'd never speak. <laughs> What do you think, Lil? Ooh, see, now this is perfect for you. Look, it has a papaya king in the lobby. <laughs> oh, my God, these are my old offices. Why are they available? I don't know. Did you like them? Well, yeah, but God, I hope this doesn't mean that Warren is in some sort of financial difficulty. Warren? Uh, my old boss. Why would he be in financial difficulty just because every single one of his clients left him to go with you? Open the door. Open the damn door. Edna! My God, it's five o'clock. You were supposed to be here at nine this morning. I was worried. I called your house several times. You know, I had nine written down in my book, but I didn't think that could be right because I don't like to get up that early. <laughs> well, I was worried that something happened to you. Hey, lady, I'm here now. Hey, Nora, I'm here now. Okay, so what's the point of talking about this anymore? Now, here are the checks for Mr. What's-His-Face's account. Edna, you wrote out these checks, didn't you? Why? Is there a problem? Well, yes. Edna, I can't stress this enough. The numbers in the little box next to the dollar sign are supposed to match what is written on the check. Okay. And what are these doodles on the check? That's a dagger. Uh-huh. That's a cat. Mm -hmm. And that's my boyfriend before he grew the beard. Uh, well, Edna, for tomorrow, Never mind. I just want you here, 9 a.m. sharp. <sighs> hey, can I give you a little bit of friendly advice? We all know you're the boss. You don't have to prove it every two seconds. <laughs> this funky little bitch, isn't she? <laughs> I should fire her. I've given her five final warnings, but she's had a very tough oh life. Oh, leave me alone. It is tough. She's not wrong. Nora is not wrong. They'll just go on hurting each other no matter what. In a way, it's just like me and Monty. Yes, we have already accepted that you and Monty are the metaphor for the human experience. <laughs> you are so stupid that you don't even know that that's true. <laughs> so big for me. I feel so strange. It's perfect. Oh, no, quit selling for a second. This used to be my desk. And I worked for a lovely man who sat in there, and I was tortured by his officious little nephew, Warren. But whatever else was going on, I knew I was good. I was always a little bit better than they expected. And now I have my own business. And I'm so overwhelmed. All I want to do is crawl into bed with Howie. We all want to crawl into bed with Howie. <laughs> Every working woman alive wants to crawl into bed with Howie. But you got to keep going. I haven't sold or leased a thing in 11 months, but you notice how I'm keeping on the subject. <laughs> Be my sister. Be sensitive for a second. Be my sister. Don't make me do this. <laughs> What was that? Did you hear something? I hope I'm not boring you, Uncle Jonathan. Which probably says something about my state of mind to worry that I'm boring an inanimate object. <laughs> but I make no pretense about great mental health. <laughs> Excuse me, Warren. <laughs> Yes? Uncle Jonathan? No, no. 
It's not Jonathan, it's me, Nora. <laughs> Let me explain what you walked in on. I'm losing my mind. <laughs> what are you doing here? Well, actually, I, I, I came to... Listen! Can I tell you something? Calmly and rationally. My bet is, not a chance. <laughs> no. Now, let me get my act together here, okay? Because I want to make a better impression, all right? Okay. Just, just a moment, all right? Idea that will guarantee your new business success. And you know what? I'm not going to give it to you. Oh, that's fine. I, I understand. I don't think you do. This is an idea that's going to put you over the top, make your life work. And I'm not going to let you have it. Okay, I'll blink first. My idea is this, that I should come to work for you. Warren... Oh, no, no. I think given our past, it's an impossible idea. Why? Come on. I mean, you, 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 you took credit for my ideas. So I recognize good ideas when I hear them. You used to yell at me for no apparent reason. To toughen you up. Well, you threw a coffee cup right at my head. All right, I'm in therapy now, and I've learned that I may have missed intentionally. <laughs> well, who is this tall drink of water? <laughs> I'm Nora's sister, Audie. I want you to know I feel a great deal of compassion for you because I know what it's like to be... I don't blame you for calling attention to your sensuous lips. Warren. Oh. Warren. I am sorry about your situation, but it would never work. My situation? What about your situation, huh? What? What's my situation? That you're plagued by doubts. Huh? That you're worried you can't cut it? That your hips are too big? <laughs> you're just trying to frighten me into needing you. I am trying to frighten you into needing someone with my exact qualifications. A CPA who knows the company's history. Someone who is working hard to correct these recent tendencies to fall into stream of consciousness, waves from the ocean, that day at the beach, my mother looks so beautiful. Flakes of sand, flakes of sun, the water. Salty, salty, salty. I can't breathe. I can't breathe. Oh, mother, mother, would you help me? Wow, what a sales pitch. Look. Look. I know I'm not quite myself or anybody else right now. But I have been seeing a psychiatrist four times a week for the past week. Look, just consider me, please. Warren, I can't. Look, I, wait, wait, wait. I'm not saying hire. I'm not saying give. I'm saying consider. Consider. Give me a thread to hold on to. Okay. Okay. I'll consider it. Not because I pity you, but because I have enormous respect for your abilities as an accountant. I liked everything except the part about not pitying me. <laughs> Tomorrow night, I have to sign a lease on the new offices. Hey, it's okay. I could use the night alone with a frozen chicken pot pie. <laughs> <sighs> You're still upset about Warren, aren't you? Yeah. I mean, professionally, he could really help the business, you know? And maybe he isn't the monster he used to be. Oh, please. He's finally out of our lives. I know, but I'm really torn about this, Howie. It's like the nicest part of me says, well, here is a guy in temporary emotional trouble who, after all, I worked alongside of for 15 years. I should take him on. 
And then there's this other part of me, the bad part that I don't like so much, that says, oh, come on, Nora. You can't run a business. You're just a bookkeeper who likes to hug people and got lucky. This man is a CPA. He knows how to get the job done. And then there's this other part of me, the evil part. It says, if I hire him, ooh, it's payback time. Don't listen to those crazy women. Listen to me. Don't complicate this. You can't hire this man. Mm. And by the way, if we're through talking about this, I would like to turn off the lights and slip the nighty off that evil one. <laughs> I love my chicken pot pie. Chicken, chicken, chip, chip. Chicken pot pie. What are you doing? I am cooking a chicken pot pie. But Howie, you don't have to. Look, see? I made you a homemade one. Look, it's ready. Why'd you do that? Because Nora told me how much you like them, and homemade's much better than frozen. Oh, I don't want a homemade one. I like the frozen kind. But Howie, <laughs> I slice the carrots. I, I shell fresh peas. Yeah, but I like a machine to do that. You see, people can't make every carrot exactly the same size. And who wants fresh peas? I mean, the peas in here could be as old as I am, for all I know. And that's the way I like it. Normally, when you yell at me, I get upset. But I know you well enough to realize this isn't really about me. Want to know how I know? Just let me have my damn pie. Well, I'll tell you. I have had a lifetime of experience with difficult men. You are mad at Nora, and you're taking it out on me. No, I'm mad at you. No, you're not. Yes, I am. No, you're not. Yes, I am. I'm mad because you're living here. Look, I find when I'm fighting with someone, it's always because there's something underneath. Yeah, you underneath my roof. <laughs> no, it's because there's something inside. Yeah, you inside my house. <laughs> these stupid roles we always play with each other, okay? You stop making those wisecracks and I'll stop being open and vulnerable. <laughs> if you have anything you want to say or ask me in absolute honesty, then do so, and I shall do the same. And then we'll know for, like, at least half a minute that we've been real with each other, okay? <sighs> Howie. When are you gonna leave? Really? <laughs> I have no place else to go, and I have no hope of leaving anytime soon. Monty went to Germany, and he took my life with him. I'm a shattered mess. It is taking every ounce of strength I have in me to stand here and talk to you without crying. That's my story. <laughs> but forget about me. Come on now. Eat your homemade chicken pot. Do you want company or would you like to be alone? I want to be alone. Are you sure you're telling me the truth? <laughs> May you live here forever if I'm lying. <laughs> Great. Well, Nora, I'd like to officially welcome you to the 527 East 34th Street family. <laughs> oh, I'm honored. Me too. I wanted to ask you about my commission check. It's wildly smaller than I imagined. Audie. Wake up. The days of the big checks are over. We real estate agents are like a pack of wild dogs now, clawing for any piece of foul meat. Thanks for explaining. <laughs> oh, what the hell? There it is. Ah, yes, 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 yes. You know what this means? Yes. I may finally be on the road back, the beginning of a new start. <laughs> I have this strange feeling that kind of reminds me of happiness. Oh, Audie, let it out. I did. It's not that big a check. <laughs> Hi, that boy. Are you still considering me? Uh, Warren, you have to understand, you're abrasive and mean. You torture those around you and, well, we're going another way. Can I say one more thing? that may change your mind. Yes. Please, hire me, I beg you, please. Warren, Warren, I'm sorry, but there's nothing here for you. I'm just gonna kiss your feet. No, okay? no, Warren, no, 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 Warren, stop, no, 
Let me get your feet. Why would you let me get your feet? No, no, no. What? No, what? It's gonna work. No, Warren. Is it working? No, Warren. Stop it. Stop it. Hello, Warren. Nora, I hate to be the one to tell you this, but you are in big trouble. You bounced a couple of checks on Mr. Delatoria's account, and he is furious. What are you talking about? I told you to transfer money to that account. Oh, so it's my mistake? <laughs> anyway, you better call Mr. Delatoria, because I ain't gonna. Because I don't care if this whole place burns down. Edna? Excuse me. With you in it. <laughs> Edna, could you wait outside? Sure. Warren, Warren, what are you doing? <laughs> Having a little problem with Edna, are you? There are complicated socio-economic reasons why she is the way she is. She is rude, she is incompetent, she alienates the clients. Fire her. I can't. Aha! Well, I can. I'll be your hatchet man. All the greats have had them. Stalin, Nixon, Milken. Oh. <laughs> tells me that hiring a hatchet man is not a step towards my personal and professional fulfillment. I will fire her myself. Uh-huh. Have you done it before? Uh... You know, sometimes they cry. <laughs> they beg you for another chance. They talk about their families and how much they love this country. Oh, my God. There are no depths to which they will not sink. <laughs> and you pay a price for doing it. Your heart becomes a little colder, your eyes a little deader. And then one day you look in the mirror and see this. <laughs> All right, Warren, you're hired. <laughs> My first perk. Oh, Edna. <laughs>